Hey everybody, welcome back. First off, please ignore my watery eye. It's not wanting to cooperate, but it's time for um, November favorites. And I just wanted to share some things with you that I've really been loving. I've been using a bunch of different makeup this month because I am in the process of filming my 31 days of tutorials. This is one of the looks that will be going up um, later in the month. But yeah, so there's some things that I've just been kind of reaching for over and over again that I wanted to share with you guys. So just some basics and a couple of new things that I'm just absolutely in love with. So let's go ahead and get started. So the first thing I want to talk about is a little sample. And this is the Smashbox Photo Foundation Primer. Um, I love this. I just have a little sample. I'm almost done with it. I will be purchasing this in the full size. It's kind of, I've kind of rediscovered my love for kind of that dimethicone, silicone based primer. And this one is so fantastic. I've been wearing this almost every single day underneath my um, NARS All Day Luminous Weightless Foundation. And I really like it. It does such a beautiful job of smoothing out my skin. Um, I feel like it just gives me more of a perfected look. And it is just totally it's one of those primers that is totally completely 100 percent worth the money and i really really enjoy this i've been using this almost every day and when i haven't been using that one i've been using this one now this was sent to me for free i believe through influencer and this is the veil mineral primer from hourglass i really like this now this looks more like a lotion and a little of this goes a very long way so this would be about as much as i needed for my entire face and it looks like a lotion but as you smooth it out it has that more silicone dimethicone style um and feel to it it's so it's a nice mix between a lotion and like something like the smashbox photo finish primer i'm actually wearing it underneath my foundation today and i really really like it it is very again it's perfecting it's it minimizes my pores i feel like or the appearance of my pores and it just makes my makeup go on smooth it is a beautiful foundation i mean um primer again another one that is completely a hundred percent i think worth the money if you do want to splurge on a nice primer the next product i want to talk about is my anastasia dip brow pomade and i'm in dark brown i'm actually wearing it today this is just i go through phases of using this where I'll use it every single day and then I'll go through phases where I prefer like a pencil or a powder but this is so good it's such a nice rich pomade without being too much I feel like a lot of pomades it's so easy to pick up too much and just go a little too crazy with your brows with this one I feel like it's just creamy enough to where I can get a nice application without it being all over the place. It has some stick and hold to it so I don't feel like it just wipes away or runs out of my brow line and I have really really been liking this so much more than I like the brow whiz. I mean I I will go with a drugstore pencil over the brow whiz any day of the week but this is definitely one of the best brow pomades I've tried and I am really enjoying it. Let's talk about some contouring products because again I've been filming a whole buttload of tutorials so uh, there have been just a couple of contouring products that I've been really reaching for every single day. This one is an oldie but a goodie. This is the um, sculpting powder from MAC in the shade Sculpt. I love this. I'm wearing it today. It adds warmth to the face without being overly warm. So it's still cool, neutral, cool enough to be a a contour on me um, and look natural on me, but it still adds a little something and livens up my face in just a, a really nice natural way. And I absolutely love this powder. This, it's just got a nice texture. It's got a nice feel. It blends out beautifully. This is a, a powder that I kind of hold up all of my other contour powders to and kind of, you know, this is like the standard for me because I love it so much. It was one of my first like contouring loves and I've just been using the crap out of it this past month and I've really been enjoying it again. This is in the special Maleficent packaging, but you can get it um, just in the pan, I believe, or in the regular compact from MAC. The next product I want to talk about is this um, NYX Cheek Contour Duo in Double Date. Um, I really like the contour powder in here. I do not like this at all. It doesn't feel good. It's too cakey. It's too, just gives you a nice white cakey cast to your makeup that is just not attractive at all. But I have been using the contour shade in here like crazy. This is definitely going to be a little bit cooler than... Um, just a slightly, slightly cooler than Max Sculpt, but they're right about the same depth. So when I'm going for a kind of a cooler contour, I'll go for this one. When I want a little bit more warmth to my face, I will go for Max Sculpt, but they're 
very very similar this one again the NYX one is just definitely a, just a little bit cooler than the MAC one but I have been going for this like crazy I wish they would just sell this in the individual pan because it's such a good contouring shade and then finally to go along with that I have been using a lot of bronzer this this uh, month but it's only been the physicians formula butter bronzer this has been a favorite of mine before I'm in the light bronze this is such a good bronzing product it's nice it's creamy it's smooth it does not look orange especially if you are somebody like me who is a little bit on the the fair side it's just such a good bronzer and I just use this in in conjunction with one of these two contours again I'm wearing it today just to add a little bit of warmth and life to the face it makes me it smells like summer which is what I need right now because we are definitely getting into Christmas time but it is just a great product I know this product is super hyped up on YouTube but it's one of those products that it's really worth the hype because it is such a stunningly gorgeous drugstore product so good next I want to talk about a couple eyeshadow slash highlighters that I've really been enjoying and these are both from Milani these are their Bella eye singles and I've just been loving these lately this one is Bella this one is Bella diamond which is more of just a white shimmery highlight and this one is Bella chiffon which definitely has a more golden tone to it I have been using these like crazy um, as highlighters and as inner corner highlighters and they have been just doing a gorgeous job I'm actually wearing Bella Diamond on my inner corner today these are so beautiful again just depends on if I want to go for a cooler look or a more warm look I've been kind of interchanging these out and using these a lot just to bring in to help out a palette for an inner corner highlight or even as just my overall highlight and these are beautiful and finally just a couple palettes that I've really been enjoying this month and they're both from Anastasia Beverly Hills we've got a lot of Anastasia in here um, but it's the master palette by Mario I did a whole review on this palette I love this palette I think it is stunning I think if you can still get it and you like these colors I think it is well worth the investment it is so beautiful beautiful fall beautiful for any time of year just a gorgeous naturally glam type of palette I think it's unbelievable and then of course we have the modern renaissance palette this these palettes are just so high quality her shadows are buttery they're pigmented they're easy to work with they are just they're joy to work with I've said this before it's like I go to these palettes and I look at them I get excited to use them they inspire me and that's what makeup's all about right so I have really really been enjoying both of these palettes this month I think every like I've said it before I think every time I use one of her palettes I just fall more and more in love with the shadows and I think these are just two that you would not go wrong if you wanted to really treat yourself to a higher end makeup palette and these are actually relatively affordable compared to what's out right now this one I think is 42 and I believe this one's 45 as opposed to 50 or 60 dollars that you can spend on a naked palette or on a Too Faced palette so I think these have just been saving the day for me this month and I've really been enjoying them. And guys, the last thing I wanted to talk to you guys about is my Hourless Ambient Lighting Powder palette. I love this thing. I have been putting this thing to work this month. I've just been using it as an all over setting powder um, to just kind of give my skin just a nice soft airbrush type effect. Um, and it's really helped. Um, I've really noticed a a difference in the quality of my makeup and the the way it's looking on camera and in real life it's and this stuff is just amazing I've just been kind of mixing them all together um, just to get the perfect blend and you see I've put such a dent in these it's it's so terrible um, but I mean this thing is just amazing I know I talked about this in my anti haul video where you know instead of buying the surreal light palette you should buy this or buy just one of their finishing powders they're such beautiful wonderful quality if you like a nice setting powder to really just pull everything together and just make it all work seamlessly i love this palette it is so good all right everybody so those are just some favorites of mine from the month of, Dece of november we're in december starting december it's november still i hope this was helpful for you just some random things but just some things that i've been able to go to every single day and really rely on but as always guys let me know what your favorites are down below let me know what you think about the products that i mentioned i'm always interested to hear your opinion you guys have the best tips best information and i've learned so much from you guys so thank you for sharing your knowledge because you know there is always more to learn but until then guys i hope you guys have an amazing day have a rockin week be sure to check out my tutorial starting tomorrow and i'll see you next time bye guys <laughs>